I think Charlie Bowser made it the greatest contributions to the city of Philadelphia as deputy mayor to Mayor Tate, and then as executive director of the Philadelphia Urban Coalition at that time. He was smart, and he knew everybody in the city, and really dealt with issues that impacted not only the African American community, because the coalition was made up of black, white, Latino, Asians, business, labor, and, and that was how the coal, that was why it was called the coalition. And the issues we dealt with were, were issues that impacted on uh, the neighborhoods. And I worked with him first as the secretary, and then I became a task force coordinator. And I convinced him to uh, let the housing task force of the Urban Coalition bring a lawsuit against the Whitman Park Project, which was a project that was on the table. And when uh, some of the uh, community in South Philadelphia found out that African Americans would occupy those houses, they didn't want the project anymore. And we forced, uh, forced the issue. I think Charlie Bowser and his career had a broader base in the city of Philadelphia than Hardy Williams. Charlie had the pulse of all the community groups in the city of Philadelphia because they received funding from the Urban Coalition. So he had a hands-on connection with uh, the African-American community in Philadelphia. And uh, I think they were ready by that time. And I guess Hardy sort of laid the groundwork, running, being the first. Well, you, it might happen. It could happen. So when Charlie came along with the Philadelphia party, um, which was very exciting, um, it was people were galvanized to it, because here is an opportunity we might make it. 